What up guys, welcome to Kick-Ass Asanas. I'm the Downward Doug, and today we're combining yoga moves with Tabata to make something pretty awesome. I've just done the workout myself. It's a stinker, it's good, it gets everything going, but it's doable, all right? It's 15 minutes, that's all you need. 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, and you'll be done before you know it. So grab a mat, meet me out there, and let's get going. Get on your mat, get ready to go. We're doing Tabata style training. Got 10 seconds before we start. Just get yourself limbered, get yourself ready. Feet together, we're gonna start with chair squats, which looks something like that. Ready? One, let's go. All right, make sure those legs are squeezing together at all times. Keep the weight in the heels as much as you can. Arms lift up to where they're comfortable. Don't strain it too much. Just really focus on squeezing those legs together. As you dip your bum down, so we're sitting into a seat or a chair, which I'm sure you're starting to see the genus of that word as we go through it. Keep squeezing legs together, keep pushing through those heels, and we're done. Next exercise, onto the floor, gonna do chaturanga style push-ups. Just make sure you're leaning forward, come to that 90, push up, no lower, no deeper. If you need, option to bring knees down, like this is just fine. Just make sure you get that same connection with the elbows. All right, and let's go. Again, keep on control of that breathing as we go through. Focus on where those elbows point. You see I'm trying to keep a 90 degree at all time. Slight pause at the bottom, push back up. We're gonna be going through four rounds of this today, guys. So keep strong, it's not a long time. See what I mean? We're ready out of that one, into the next. Next up, nice and easy, down dog, flowing through to plank, all right? Five seconds left, so get left of your wrist, and let's go. Down dog, really ripple that spine forward, get a nice strong plank position, push back from the hips, knees down. Rock forward, push through the shoulders, rock back, into down dog again, if need be, can go from here, knees can come down, come back, and rock forward. And if you really need, you can do it all from a nice sit up position to plank, back down, and back forward. All right, as you need, guys. Next one, three legged dog, knee to nose, three legged dog, knee to nose, get up. All right, three seconds, one. Let's go. Right leg up, knee to nose, really squeeze it together. Foot down, left leg, knee to nose, down, right leg. Feel free to go at your own pace here, guys. I might be slowing you down, or I might be going too fast. That's for you to decide. And that is the beauty of all these workouts. It should be completely custom to you. Keep these moving. Keep those abs, abs engaged. Last one guys, more of a cardio exercise. You're jumping forward and back, splitting the legs between the hands. It looks something like this. Left foot through the middle, jump back. Right foot through the middle. No rest for me, apparently. Let's go, one, two. Load back, bent knees, as if you're gonna spring forward. And keep that going. Start to feel a lot of work through the shoulders. Really good. All of your handstand work, your down dog, your turbo dog, all of those movements that require a lot of weight through the shoulders. Whew. All right, that's round one. Three to go, guys. Dig deep. 10 seconds left. As you can my breath is starting to go now. A little bit different to yoga. Feel free to get that in. Let's go. Legs squeezing, chair squats. One, two. I'll stop counting because really the numbers are relevant. You're just looking at finding your limits, and finding your edge. Now push yourself past that. Just enjoy the movement that's available in your body. Hopefully, you my talking in some way is also distracting you from how much your legs are. Don't work with me apparently. 
Bring it back down. Chaturanga push-ups. You know where we're going. Options to be on the knees if you need. Just make sure you've got a nice strong core position if you're going to be on your knees. Or if you're going to be upright. Let's go. Remember, keep that 90 degrees. Keep the core engaged. Don't let that stomach fall through the middle. Keep it nice and zipped up. One long line of energy the whole time. All right, keep it going guys, halfway done. Here we go. Halfway through these. On to our next exercise in three, two, one. Very nice guys. Now we're doing that down the dog, rope forward. Like I was explaining before, if need be, you can do this in child's pose. It's a plank. If you want a slightly modified option. For the rest of us, down the dog, ripple forward. Really articulate that spine back and forward. Back and forward. Feel like a wave of energy coming from your heels up through your torso and let it go all the way back. Very subtle move this, but should be quite engaging throughout the entire body. All right, quick rest. If I was you, make sure you come off your hands for these rests. Most of the exercises are on the hands and through the shoulders, so give them the rest whenever you can. On to the next one, three-legged dog. Need to notice. Up. Squeeze this in, the smallest ball you can make. Give it a second here too. Really squeeze. Feel those abs working. Again, these are really good for when we want to step through. It's part flexibility and also part strength. How much of a small ball can you make yourself? It'll give you more room to step through as well as to jump through. It's worth working these. Again, come off those shoulders, come off those hands, give yourself a little break. On to the next one, I'm just going to be jumping forward and back. Nice cardio one. Make a little room because I almost stepped on all my equipment last time. Lean back, we jump. One, back, two, back, three, back, four, back, five, back, six, back. Keep going guys, halfway through this. And that's two of our four rounds done. So keep it going, keep it nice and active. Keep bouncing, try to land on the balls of the feet and not flat footed. Woo. All right, round two done. Two more rounds to go. Stick with it, you're doing great work. You should be building a bit of a sweat now. Let's get back into those chair squats. Remember, legs zip together. I'll do it facing you this time. And have a better look at that angle. Try to keep everything squeezing towards the midline. Bum is working hard, legs are working hard, shoulders just getting a little bit of movement through them, really focusing on the legs here. Let's see if you can lift up your toes as you go down and see if those are making sure the weight is rocking back into your heels. Very nice guys, we've got one more of those. Each thing we do now, we've got one more, and then we're done. Keep strong, coming down into our chaturanga push-ups now. Are you ready? Deep breath, dig deep, and let's go. One, two, let's go. Keep the weight pouring forward. You don't want to be back here. Come forward in our chaturanga style. It's the only real way to get 90 degrees in the elbows. If you need any help with these, we also got a tutorial below, so make sure you check that out. That's my little plug mid-workout here. That's how you know I'm a true professional. Ready, and we're done. Woo! All right, hopefully you guys are feeling it now. I'm gonna move on to the flow to plank, either from a child's pose or from down dog. And again, I wanna reiterate, really articulate that spine. So, as you see here, Roll it forward. Strong plank, keep the shoulders separated. Roll it back from the hips. Roll it forward, high plank. Not a rest position, should be still active. Back, 
as you get your plank, zip up everything, bum, thighs, and glutes, rock it forward, press, rock it back, rock it forward, really lift up through that heart center, rock it back, last one, there you go, very nice guys, now, moving on to our three-legged dog, knee into nose, and really think about making yourself compress, like I said, for your step throughs, for your, for your jump throughs, that's really what gets you through. Down dog, right leg up, let's go. Small, up, and a small ball, up, and bring it in, nice and close. Leg goes up, get a little stretch in there, bring that knee as close to you as possible. Knee to nose, see if you can actually touch your knee to your nose. It's a little bit harder to breathe, if I'm honest. <laughs> And you better be able to here. Just refocus on that leg lifting and coming in. Well then guys, for one more exercise for this round, then we're on to the last round. Dig deep, seven seconds to go, and then we're gonna be ready. Alright, I need to get a mop or something because this is what happens when I exercise. Alright, let's go jump through this down dog. Up, and then keep on those toes. Alternating the foot that comes through each time. Spring loading those legs, giving a nice load, and spring. Halfway through, keep pushing guys, not long time, every exercise, just so try to give it everything. And as we get towards the end, try to pick up that pace, a little bit faster, a little bit harder. Woo! All right, last round coming guys. Last round, give it everything, don't leave anything on the mat, other than your sweat, like me. Let's go, four seconds, two, one. Weight in the heels, one, two. Let's go a little bit deeper. Pick up that pace a little bit here, two. Here we go. Don't compromise that fall. Core stays engaged the whole time. What we don't want is the bum sticking out too much. Keep the navel knitted in. 10 seconds, you got this. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Very nice guys, let's get to the floor. Let's get on. Again, shoulder arm and push-ups, look for that 90 degree. All right, not back here. You have to pull your weight a little bit forward. Here we go, either on your knees or forward. Let's really push. Let's see if we can really get a good pace out of this. Core stays engaged, nice long line of energy through the body, one long straight line. Like you're doing plank, only difference is bending your arms. 10 seconds to go guys, one, there we go. Into those last 10, start to feel it now. Triceps really burning, and uh. All right, good news is, arms are gonna stay straight now, coming to that flow, forward and back, either from the child's pose, if you want, with me, from down dog forward. Keep that nice shape. Down dog, roll forward. High plank, active. Roll it back. Roll forward. High plank, active. Roll it back. Roll it forward, high plank. Roll it back. Open up. High plank, active. Like I said, push into that ground. Push yourself away. Really nice. Moving through the shoulders here. Should be something we're quite used to. It's yoga, but we can always work on it. Okay, coming down. Last two exercises. I'm pretty excited about that. So, we're gonna go through down dog, three legged dog, knee in, maybe nice and tight, smallest ball you can. Let's go. One, up, two, really feel those obliques. Hold here, one, two, three. Back up, and one, two, three, back up. Again, three, one, two, three. Get a little bit harder as we finish. One, two, three. Abs really having to work, contract to keep this here. Back up, and one, two, three, back. All right, good news guys. Last one, all right? Stick with it, and then nail it. And we're gonna have a great time afterwards, right? You feel like it worked, you feel like you've had a good time, a good workout. 
But still with 30 seconds to go. Let's go. One. Alternate the feet coming in. Spring load yourself back almost into a puppy press. Puppy press, rather. Puppy position. Puppy press, very different thing. 15, let's go. Double time. Back, forward, back, forward. Keep that rhythm. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! And that is all she wrote, people. Well then, guys, work super hard. Serve yourself a little bit of water, a little rest. Make sure you cool down. If you're looking for any stretches to cool down again, check the link below. There'll be a link for that. That long tells me that's all the time we have for. Have a great rest of the day. I'm the Downward Dog, and you're awesome.